MK once again with another Zelda Wii U video. Now, I think I may have gotten onto something when it comes to the conspiracy as to why The Legend of Zelda for Wii U has had little to no information this year. Other than the delay and some interviews here and there talking about the world, talking about how it's still for the Wii U, how they have tons of footage, yet decide not to show it even though many events which they said they'll show it at the right event have passed by which includes PAX Prime, Gamescom, New York Comic Con, of course, E3, and Tokyo Game Show, just to name a bunch. Now, this may be the truth as to why Nintendo decides to leave us in the dark when it comes to the Legend of Zelda for Wii U. And the reason is Triforce Heroes. Trust me, guys. Think about it. If Nintendo so much as to breathe any big piece of news or showing anything like the official name for the Legend of Zelda for Wii U or anything like that. Any small piece of news would totally eclipse that of its entirety, Triforce Heroes. Think about it. So, we're uh, Nintendo's trying to hop up the game. Nintendo's obviously trying to sell the game, you know? But they know if they showed any little piece of information then us, the hardcore gamers, the people on YouTube, all those people, journalists, whatever, they will totally focus on what they've given us for Zelda Wii U because this is the pit they've thrown themselves in. This is the pit they've dug themselves in. You know, with like, oh, where's the news? Where's the news? They actually give us some news. Everything else is irrelevant in our eyes for um, a couple of weeks, a month, two months, give or take, whatever. All right? They really, really want to sell Triforce Heroes. And they didn't want anything to hurt those sales. Alright? So like, like, just, just tell me right now. Think about it. Tell me guys. Right now. Triforce Heroes, Zelda Wii U. I mean, look at this game. Look at it. I played the game, I thought it was fun, meh. That was pretty much it. But when you take this and compare it to that, which is going to come up on top when you talk about it? Huh? It's obviously going to be Zelda Wii U. Now, take this into consideration. Another example. Kingdom Hearts 3, another game that I'm super hyped for, which has more information than Zelda Wii U. Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Alright, when they announced 2.8 at TGS, we were all hyped because they only talked about 2.8. However, in the most recent event, D23 Disney Expo Japan, they talked about Kingdom Hearts 3 and 2.8. Now, when they talked about Kingdom Hearts 3, they actually talked about first and then 2 later, but it was already too late. The damage has already been done. Kingdom Hearts 3, any information they gave totally eclipses that of 2.8. And Nintendo knew that was the same thing that was going to happen to Triforce Series if they decided to talk about Legend of Zelda for Wii U or Zelda Wii U, whatever you want to call it. Blah. It's, it, it, it's a very, very legitimate marketing tactic and marketing thought. Alright? Jesus Christ. Like, ugh. Now that Triforce Heroes is out, and now that we have a Nintendo Direct confirmed for this year, I am very confident that Nintendo will show something, anything, about Zelda Wii U. Because now that Triforce Heroes is out, they don't have to worry about, you know, Zelda Wii U putting a damper on the hype of Triforce Heroes. Because that kind of happened at 2014 when they were talking about Hyrule Warriors, when it was coming out for the Wii U and Zelda Wii U. Zelda Wii U definitely, you know, stole the hype of Hyrule Warriors. There was, there was no question about it. You don't have to worry anything about that, about Twilight Prince HD or Hyrule Warriors Legends, because Hyrule Warriors Legends is a port and Twilight Prince HD is an HD remaster, so they don't have to worry about Zelda Wii U eclipsing that hype because, I mean, those are games that are already, you know, come out. But still, you know, Nintendo's tactics have been uberly weird. Uberly. Uberly. Whatever. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys believe in the conspiracy that Nintendo decided not to show anything about Zelda Wii U because they didn't want to risk losing hype for Triforce Heroes? Please leave your thoughts, questions, comments, everything in the comment section below. And get ready for more video game conspiracies because I have a lot in my head to share with you guys. But what do you think about this conspiracy? Let me know what you think. Triforce Heroes, Zelda Wii U, yeah, I can see that happening. They knew, Nintendo knew that people were going to look at Triforce Heroes and be like, what? And they didn't want to risk 
any more type of casualties when it comes to the video game sale, especially with Zelda Wii U. So, with that in mind, until the next video game conspiracy, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.